Hi, welcome back to day five. Like you, I've taken many courses, and sometimes I take a course and I go, hmm, interesting information, but not really for me. And so, you know, I, I encourage you, if you're even a little bit stimulated by the osteoporosis information, to go on and do the online course. And even at the end of it, if you're kind of thinking, well, the osteoporosis thing isn't quite for me, but you're going to have to integrate it at least a little bit into your practice because your clients with comorbidities are, you know, at least a quarter of them are going to also have low bone density. But if you're finding that, you know, still it's, it's not a big area for you and you're not as excited as I am in it, at least you'll know where to refer your clients to. And, you know, like you, my clients love when I refer them to appropriate professionals or appropriate sites to help them with solving their problems. In my 25 years as a physical therapist, I've attended many workshops and a lot of great workshops, but there's such a difference between workshops that are given by clinicians and workshops that are given strictly by researchers. And although by researchers, you know, we get good information, but it's not always applicable to our clients and we try to get little nuggets out of it that we can use on Monday morning. But in my workshop, you know, I provide you, and with the online course, I provide you with lots of nuggets, lots of information that you can use and apply right away. In 2000, I went on and did my certified strength and conditioning specialty through the National Strength and Conditioning Association. And that's really been very helpful for me in building and delivering the Mueller Guide program. And interestingly enough, I was just at the conference, uh, the sports conference put on by the American Physical Therapy Association in 2010 on team concepts. And even within this group of therapists, we were still teaching, there was a three-hour workshop just on delivering, you know, how do we teach squats, how do we teach lunges, how do we teach proper chest presses. And all of these, inf this type of information is what I make very clear to you through the training so that you're left with not just great exercises and great way of teaching the exercises for your clients with low bone density, osteopenia, or osteoporosis, but for all of your clients. Clients with osteoporosis, osteopenia, or low bone density deserve to be taught an exercise program by well-trained professionals, not by people who like to exercise and only have a two-day weekend certificate. Thank you for taking the time to listen to the five days of tutorials. If you learned something and you're excited about what you learned and you want to learn a little bit more in regards to osteoporosis and exercise, I encourage you to sign up to the online course. In the online course, you're going to get 15 hours of both screencasts and video content to provide you with a lot of education beyond the first 15 hours, whether it's in the form of book reviews, whether it's in the articles and blogs that we write in looking at research and um, summarizing research for you. I also provide summaries and information on the conferences that I attend around the world related to osteoporosis and osteopenia and low bone density.